Hey guys, this video is a follow on from our previous tutorial on how to add agendas or tables of contents in Thinkcell. So if you haven't seen that tutorial, it's worth checking out first. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add subsections or subcategories into our slide deck. Let's get into it. So if you've seen our previous tutorial on agendas or tables of contents in Thinkcell, this slide will look familiar to you. So in that one, we built four chapters into our slide deck, a project plan, current state analysis, market analysis, and next steps. But what if we want current state analysis and market analysis to be subsections of a chapter called analysis? So I'll show you how to do that now. So first thing we need to do is add a new parent chapter in. So I'm going to right click and hit the button that says insert chapter. And I'm going to call this chapter analysis. Now we need to make the current state and market analysis subsections. So first thing I'll do is click into current state analysis. Then in the PowerPoint ribbon under home, I'm going to click the button that says increase list level. And I'm going to do the same thing for market analysis, increase list level. So a few things have happened. First thing is ThinkSell's added a new agenda slide in. It's here and it's for analysis, but it's also hidden that slide because analysis doesn't have any um, slides directly under it. Those slides are all under subsections. Second thing it's done, it has uh, agenda slides for the subsections and it highlights both the parent chapter and the child chapter. So here we've got um, our agenda slide for current state analysis and here we have it for market analysis. One thing to note is the child chapters only show up if you're in the right parent chapter. So if I go to draft project plan, I can't see any of the child chapters within analysis. I can only see them when I'm in the analysis section. So that's it. That's how you add subsections or subchapters into a ThinkCell agenda. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comment box down below. Hope that was helpful.